What's up everyone, Brian here from Exact IT Solutions coming at you today with another video during Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Today is October 27, 2020. And before we get into today's content, I want to remind everyone that we do not I, uh, get any money or collect anything from Patreon or sponsors or anything for these videos. Uh, but we do charge a fee and that is if you are enlightened or entertained or we made you think, or we gave you some new information you didn't have before watching this video, we ask that you please hit the like button down below on the video and then maybe consider subscribing to our channel. And if you would like to work with my company, Exact IT Solutions, for anything IT support or cybersecurity related, head over to our website at xitx.com, click the little contact us button at the top right, Fill out the form, let us know what's on your mind, and someone will reach out to you and help you with whatever situation you may be facing. So without further ado, let's jump into today's content. All right, so it's interesting what's going on out there today. Um, I've mentioned before that this cybersecurity uh, situation and cyber attacks and, and cyber criminals um, is a war and it's a war against businesses and it's manifesting itself in many many different ways um, the hackers are really ga gaining the upper hand here on businesses because they've been building their arsenal for a number of years now and businesses quite frankly especially in the US haven't been taking that threat as seriously as the attackers have been taking their business and their business model. Um, there are so many different ways that companies can be attacked today, it's mind-blowing. Uh, we've been cautioning businesses about these types of things for years now, um, but because it didn't happen at mass scale and because the hackers haven't perfected their craft as yet, um, people don't think it's going to happen to them or they don't think it's really happening at a scale where they have to worry about it. And in today's video, I want to highlight another way that hackers can attack you other than maybe through phishing attempts or through busting down the front door, through brute force password attacks and things like that. And I've talked about this previously in other videos, but I want to highlight some things that have come out recently that point to a lot of things happening inside of companies with their own employees. Now, we always say in the cybersecurity business or in the IT industry that your employee is the weakest link in the chain. Um, and that is true even if you don't have rogue employees in your business. They can be targets tricked into clicking on things or responding to things that they shouldn't be responding to because either they were ill-equipped to handle that situation or they're not being properly trained around cybersecurity and what to look for in things like phishing attempts and when they get a phone call from somebody pretending to be the IT support and they give them access or information to something when they shouldn't have because they really weren't from the IT support like we saw with the Twitter hack. So we also saw this in videos that I've done in the past around Tesla and the fact that they thwarted two attacks or attempted attacks by employees of Tesla and they dealt with it and handled it. And today we have another example of Amazon firing employees for leaking customer emails. And it goes on to say the, the, the employee leaked customer email addresses to an, un, uh, an unnamed third party according to disclosed emails attained by motherboard over the past few days amazon has informed some customers that it has fired an employee for leaking customer email addresses to an unnamed third party according to multiple copies of the notification email attained by motherboard the news highlights the continued risk of insiders at tech companies who may leverage access to data for their own purposes or for profit Email went on to say, we are writing to let you know that your email address was disclosed by an Amazon employee to a third party in violation of our policies 
As a result, we have fired the employee, referred them to law enforcement, and are supporting law enforcement's criminal prosecution. The Amazon email reads the copies the reads the copies motherboard obtained were sent on Friday and Saturday. And then it goes on to say, do you know about any other instances of insider data abuse? We'd love to hear from you. Using a non-work phone or computer, you can contact Joseph Cox securely. That this is obviously the reporter asking anybody who's reading this, have you have you noticed this before? And then it goes on to say, in a statement, Amazon spokesperson said the company had fired multiple people. Individuals responsible for this incident have been fired. We've referred the bad actors to law enforcement and are supporting their criminal prosecution. And in January, Amazon sent a similar email to customers in which the company said it fired employees for disclosing email addresses and phone numbers. In the latest case, Amazon told Motherboard that no other information beyond customer names and email addresses were exposed, suggesting this is a separate event. Amazon declined to answer basic questions, such as how many customers were impacted. And then we also had Amazon firing Ring employees for snooping through doorbell video cameras. Um, obviously, if you own a Ring doorbell, you know it records the information to the cloud. Uh, records the video to the cloud, and I guess some Amazon employees took it upon themselves to access this, these recordings and go through them, which is a violation of company policy. So this brings to light some interesting things. Um, you know, we can learn from all this stuff, and that's the whole point of this channel, and that's the whole point of me putting out this information and bringing it to light, especially for business owners and businesses. Do you have a policy specifically written for these types of things? Do you have a policy in place that your employees are aware about, or that are aware of, that they've signed and agreed to, that basically says, if you do X, Y, and Z, this is gonna be the repercussions. Now, I personally think if somebody is accessing data of, of customer information that they should not be accessing, then you should have a policy in place that says they're gonna be terminated and turned over to law enforcement, just like Amazon did here in this case. Don't think that your employees will not turn on your business. Money talks, people can be compromised, which seems to be a simple little thing here, like this Amazon employee or employees passing email information to a third party doesn't seem like a big deal on the surface or you may dismiss it as well what's the big deal my email address is everywhere anyway more than likely they were probably telling these this third party other information besides email addresses like what these people purchased um, along with the email addresses now there's no evidence to back that up but let's just suppose that that was the case and if email address was also given with maybe a recent purchase by that individual, how easy would it be for somebody to send an email to that individual saying, hey, will you rate and review this product? I get those emails all the time when I buy from Amazon. It asks me to rate and review certain products. If I don't take the time to look over that email, and look at the links and see where they're linking back to, that's a really good phishing attempt. You could really get somebody and take them to a website that allows malware or something to be installed where then you can either deploy ransomware or choose the attack that you want to happen to that individual. And this is the kind of stuff that happens. They make things look really good and they identify targets and they exploit those targets by using information that they're able to pick up across various sources, the dark web, compromised employees, etc., etc. And this is how attacks go down. This is how attacks actually happen. Somebody's tricked into something. So there's an army of individuals out there today who are devising ways to trick you into clicking on things and installing things on your computer 
that you don't want to be installing because you're now going to be ransomware or compromised in some way. So that's the reality of where we're at today with this stuff. And I urge all businesses to not only have things like cyber insurance in place, a cybersecurity plan, an incident response plan, but also an acceptable use policy of your computer systems and the data for your employees that spells out exactly what they are and not aren't allowed to access within your computer network and what will happen if evidence comes to light that they did. And spell that out, make sure that every employee is trained on it, they're aware of it and that they sign it so that in the event that they do violate that acceptable use policy, there's no question to what happens to them. And there's no discrimination and there's no anything that can be levied against the company because something nefarious happened by an employee on your computer network. So that's it for today, folks. I hope you learned a lot about what happens with these insider attacks. Take this information and take this advice very seriously. Take action. Go create that plan if you don't have one or the policy. Make sure you have your employees read it and sign it and get it back to you. Keep it in their HR file. It's very important that you not go about this assuming that you have good employees and that your all your employees will remain good forever and ever. At any point in time, your employees can be compromised. These criminal actors are out there paying employees to pass information to them. And if you have employees that don't make a lot of money, or in their eyes, they don't make a lot of money, and they're willing to sell out your company for this stuff, you need to make sure you're protected. So get out there, get your acceptable use policy plan in place. And that's the end of the content for today. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. We'd love to answer them for you. And uh, head over to our website, xitx.com, if you want help with any of this stuff around cybersecurity or creating an acceptable use policy for your company. And uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're so inclined. And make sure you hit the subscribe button because you'll be entered to win that $200 Amazon gift card that we're giving away for Cybersecurity Awareness Month. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. Take care.